Welcome to the Tired Ass Podcast. Welcome to the Tired Ass Podcast. Welcome, uh, uh, welcome to the Tired Ass Podcast. Nigga, I said. Welcome to the uh, Tired uh, Ass Podcast. Welcome to the Tired Ass Podcast. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, welcome to the Tired Ass Motherfucking Podcast. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Boom, 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 pow, pow, pow. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. I, left the I was hood. trying to do a trap remake. I left the hood. In Detroit, you know, I we are every song in Detroit, love y'all, but every song in Detroit, hood. we put gunshots in it <laughs> to make it sound like, you just you took know? me back home. Yeah. You know, it used to cut to like a random. Mm-hmm. And when things get tired. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Wow. Yuck. Episode nine. Episode nine. How are you Episode feeling today? Fucking, y'all. Yeah. Fuck! One more week, bitch, and we out of here. Oh, somebody just got mad as hell. They'll be all right. <laughs> somebody said, "What the fuck They'll you saying to me?" They'll be all right. Yeah, Trey. We'll be back. Trey. Mm-hmm. What a fucking journey so far, bitch. It's been a beautiful journey. A cunt journey, yeah. actually. How are you yeah. feeling? I've been better. I am. <laughs> I hate that bitch that knows what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm here. I am blessed. Mm-hmm. I'm highly favored. Mm-hmm. Oh, Vic. And that's just that on that. And that's just that on that. Yeah. You know. How are you? I I feel accomplished. Good. Mm-hmm. And why? That's the word. Mm-hmm. I think. I think because I'm checking off things on a lot of lists. Mm-hmm. And. and no management. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> I guess we can talk about it now. Period. Um, you know, the same actually. Both Ooh, that's fire funny. managers. I, think. I hate what? you because if, a couple episodes ago, I just got new management. And you know what? I saw that, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Oh, that's crazy how fucking yeah, shit ends." That manager I was talking about, she's out of here. No longer. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. I hope you're doing well. I really do, and will. Yeah, honestly, truly. However, comma. Very grateful for them, though. <laughs> I am feeling accomplished because I have handled so many things recently mm. with no manager, and I think I was discouraged that I wouldn't be able to. And it feels good to prove yourself wrong. Mm. It does. It feels it does. good to prove yourself wrong. Like, bitch, you can do this. Mm. You don't have to really depend on management. You don't need everybody in your business to make business go. It started with you. It can still be with just you. Yeah. And that's what I've been learning so far. I think that I have gotten to, I gotten too comfortable with underestimating myself. Mm. I mean, this is not, <laughs> you know, the, the tired ass wrap up. However, <laughs> you know, it just, I learned that I was underestimating myself too easily. Mm. And when I let go of my manager, I said, oh, and my agency, bitch, I am solo dolo out here, mm. by the way, bitch. I said, oh, wow, I'm cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually huh. can fuck this up. Yeah. So it just feels good. I, I, I think I just feel accomplished, tired. Mm-hmm. I am tired. I mean, <laughs> don't, don't think, and, and I think, I think that motherfuckers on social media make mm. this job seem so easy. Mm. They make it seem like it's very easy to create content and just be out here, but it's not. No. It is not easy, bitch. We're tired. We, 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 we are exhausted sometimes, but we make it look good. Mm-hmm. And I think that's our job to make it look well. So mm-hmm. that's where I'm at, bitch. Good. Yeah. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud it's of our a, show. Me like, too. Y- y- y'all bitches have been watching consistently, and it's like, we, are just blessed mm-hmm. and very grateful very fucking grateful that you bitches even give a fuck what we have to say mm-hmm. <laughs> like thank you yeah. so bitch you know how we gotta do it how do we have to do it let's get into the motherfucking Gigiana. oh <laughs> yeah oof <sighs> oof uh, where do you want to start we want to start with Dorisha Kitty at Coachella mm-hmm Cunt. Mm-hmm. What is <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. The thing about Jerisha Kitty mm-hmm. and watching <laughs> watching this bitch rehearse so hard mm-hmm. and actually knowing how hard this bitch re- works, mm-hmm. she reworked her whole show for this Coachella moment. She treated Coachella like it was a fucking, it was her sh- solo tour. Indeed. And that's what we stand. Indeed. I think that, shout out to my bitch Corlin, shout out to all my dancers, my bitch Josie and everybody. Mm-hmm. I think that you bitches, and also the male dancers too. There's some new male dancers on the team, by the mm-hmm. way, for this performance uh, for Coachella. I saw y'all bitches fucking it up. Mm-hmm. And also, and get it to it, y'all, y'all ate it up too, bitch. Hey, y'all. Um, bitch, watching this bitch just troll everybody mm-hmm. and be like, yeah, I'm fuck y'all. 
but I love y'all. But fuck y'all. Yeah. But I love y'all. And I'm gonna give so y'all this much. show. Mm-hmm. And that's it. I, I appreciate artists that treat the industry not as just a job. Mm-hmm. It's a craft. Mm-hmm. And when I saw this bitch at Coachella, because I watched it, I streamed it. I didn't go to Coachella this year. I and know. Okay. I know. I, like okay. I said, I fired my well, agency. So. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back next year. Yeah, I'll be there next year. Mm-hmm. I, I just need With a, the brand new team. I need artist pass. I'm so sorry. I'm, so, I'm not so sure what this, what did they try to give you? They, VIP. Now, no shade to the <laughs> VIP girls and, and the GA girls out there. But VIP is just a glorified GA. No shade. It really, at Coachella, it and I learned that by going. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, VIP is a glorified GA. No shade. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you're basically around everybody, but not, you're just, an, just a fence away from everybody. Bitch. Yeah. You just got a fence. That's all it is. Yeah. And I just said, this is not for me. I need artist pass. Also, all my friends were going. When I went to Coachella, all my friends were just going into the fucking pit. And I'm like, well, fuck. Here I am at the outside and behind this fence. Mm-hmm. The VIP fence. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't nothing special. So that I can't just, happen again. I just, it just can't happen again. So no. I want to work hard mm-hmm. to get my artist pass. Mm-hmm. And, you know, knowing me being an artist by the time... You know, Coachella comes back around. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll be performing at the Coachella one Who day. Knows? Who knows? Maybe next year I'll be at Coachella performing. And it'll be during the daytime. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's, I got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about Coachella performances? In general, I, you know, The weekend did this. The, you, mm-hmm. ooh, you know, The weekend replaced Kanye because Kanye pulled out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the weekend is like us. Bitch came out and said, "You know what? You won't pay me less. What you won't do is pay me less." And I stand mm-hmm. that. I do stand that. I do. Yes, but what do I you do. think about Coachella this year? I mean, Doja and um, everybody. Even I mean, though sh- we watched it streaming. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everyone. Shout yeah. out to everyone that performed. Yeah. Um, if I can be quite honest, I don't care about anyone but Doja. Do you Doja know? Doja Kitty. I hate you. What? Because that's how I feel. I figured. But I have to... I think most people... Just watched. I think see. we all... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think we all... Just, I think we all stream for Doji Shakiri. I think we Shik- all <laughs> just kind of tuned in for Dorisha Kitty. You know, it's just... And, but it's only because... I mean, look at the charisma this bitch gets mm-hmm. on stage. It's you know what I mean? It's phenomenal. It's, it's performers... And Did you see that backflip? A bitch? Who's backflip? <laughs> Stupidest shit I have ever done in my fucking life. Did you see that backflip? Yes. Who's backflip? (laughs) (laughs) You know? Did you see that bitch stumble? (laughs) I'm already hot. I'm already hot. I'm already hot, Trey. We just got started. Oh my God. Listen. Uh, My cheeks, my jaw. Oh. Let's okay. Speaking um, of Dorisha Kitty, Dorisha Kitty, mm-hmm. yes, and Dorisha, we love you so much. We, we bitch, do. You know we love you, bitch. Phenomenal work as always. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, my bitch quitting. My bitch retiring. She did say she's on the way the fuck out of here. And, and now the thing is, I, I can that. I can confirm my bitch is not lying. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, everybody thinks she's trolling. Everybody thinks mm-hmm. she's just playing to get attention. No, the thing is, <laughs> no. And it's going to segue into our new topic about mm. artists. And I can't wait for you to talk because mm. I'm Trey about to share, bitch. Wait, maybe just a little bit. Yep. About <laughs> artists and how the industry and also come fans can mm. not give a fuck about your mental health and how you feeling. Just entertain us. Almost like a dance monkey dance mm. type, you know, mentality. Mm. Doja is experiencing something that a lot of us will never understand. Even mm. us. Being so commercial. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I'm going to be honest. I have, you know, one of my goals was to always be a commercial artist. Mm-hmm. But being so commercial is so scary mm-hmm. when everything you do, is under you're under a microscope. You become a machine. You become a money-making machine. And not just for yourself, for big conglomerates, right? Mm-hmm. And so now your name, your brand has now generated millions of dollars a week. A week, mm. bitch. When that happens, the humility of yourself can le- can leave. 
And I'm only speaking from the outside looking in. Obviously, I have never been. <laughs> I don't have 16, 20 million followers and mm-hmm. 50 fucking million monthly listeners. Mm-hmm. And I'm not. And I'm not going on a country. You know, different countries performing. However, on the outside looking in. Imagine having that much pressure yeah. and then also being told, hey, you got to go make this money, go make this, go perform here, go do that. And you have no choice because you have obligations that we already signed up for you. Mm-hmm. At some point, and Doja did something that a lot of artists are scared to do and always been taught that you can't do, which is say, I'm taking a break for me. Mm-hmm. Y'all won't run me to the ground. And I think when fans try to like, ah, Doja girl, you're just playing. That proves her point. That, 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 that just playing proves her point because y'all don't take me seriously if I really speak up for myself. Y'all want me to yeah. just get into it, yeah, and one man, one man, one man. <laughs> but mm. bitch, <laughs> Amala needs to sit down. Mm. Amala needs to go be with her family. Period. I want to go spend time with my, with my mama. She's so close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love her family. Mm-hmm. She likes to be with our family. I want to I wanna wake up. I'm speaking as Doja. I want to wake <laughs> up and go to the store. Mm-hmm. And just be normal. I want to sleep in my bed, in my house. I want to enjoy my cat. And I also, people forget this, I want to make music with a not being under pressure mm-hmm. or a deadline or a motherfucker telling me what's trendy and what's not. Girl, what? Mm-hmm. When my bitch told me she didn't have fun producing anymore. If you don't know this, Doja used to be that girl that made beats before she was a rapper, before she was a singer. She used to be making beats. She was a very kind of girl always going on live and mm-hmm. just making beats that was how she got started in music and she just it's kind of snowballed from there so she's obsessed with experimenting with sounds and the music and she felt like it's not fun anymore mm-hmm. and Trey you know that feeling maybe just a little mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. maybe just a little just a little yeah what's the tea Fran <sighs> Um, well, obviously, like you said, I do not know it to that magnitude. I'm just going to call Amala. I'm just going to call it by the government. I don't know it (laughs) to Amala's extent. I don't. Miss Doja Caddy, Caddy Kitty, if Mm y'all don't know. Tarisha. Real name. With, mm, for me, Mm -hmm. so Doja (laughs) is not the first artist to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, Go back to we were talking about the other day, Lupe. (laughs) <laughs> said, girl, y'all actually had me very fucked up. Lupe Fiasco. I refuse to do this anymore. What a time. <laughs> that nigga came out and said, fuck all of this. Yeah. Fuck all of this, even Jasmine Sullivan. Mm-hmm. And did. Um, and what people don't understand is sometimes you do have to, not even, I don't want to call it a threat, mm. but sometimes you do have to make because in the moment the artist is is just thinking no i'm actually i'm done Mm -hmm. i'm done but when you look back and you and the artist comes back Mm -hmm. um it looks like it was just a threat and sometimes artists do have to make that threat Mm -hmm. in order to in order for shit to change Mm -hmm. so for example um i it'll be 11 years that i've i've been on youtube Mm -hmm. um in october and Three million subscribers, one hundred or one billion views around the world. Later, um, I'm iconic. Whether the girls realize it or not, I Come am. Come on now, I'm one of the first girls to do it. Shout out to I'm not the first girl. Shout out to all my other girls: um, Jerry Levine, Spoken Reasons, um, King mm-hmm. Kingsley, mm-hmm. Uh, so many other you know black people, and specifically or black creators, specifically Kingsley. When it comes down to, you know, black queer creators, Africana boy, one so many people literally that came before me. Before me. But Wait. listen. <laughs> but the impact speaks for itself. Made away. The impact speaks for itself. My impact speaks for itself. People think that because um because I was pushing out those sketches, mm-hmm. you know, pushing out that work mm-hmm. and making everybody laugh every week mm-hmm. and had everybody and their mama talking about it at school and okay. laughing in the libraries and in the house. Okay, period. Mm-hmm. I, I Me and my best friend. Okay, okay. Oh. and you took it up. <laughs> See, but it's beautiful. Like, probably, it probably shouldn't have been watching at your age, but that's well, you know, <laughs> That goes for a lot of my. I know. may I may have learned about pussy audience. through you. I don't I know. Have. You know, <laughs> may know about niggas <laughs> through but you. The, 
the impact is there and people only saw the impact you know people only saw the characters they only saw water mm -hmm. um they didn't see the fights that i had behind the scenes to make sure that black people were able to produce on youtube mm. <laughs> they didn't see the fights I had in those boardrooms with YouTube, the fights I had in those boardrooms with Instagram, mm -hmm. with um, uh, not a Vine girl, I don't know her, but because of the fights that we had behind the scenes, we had <laughs> platforms like Vine come up and these girls were able to be successful on these platforms because I was behind the scenes and I was on those panels cussing out these platforms like, y'all don't give a fuck about us. Mm -hmm. Y'all have given how many creators Billboards throughout the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Now, one a nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean to tell me you don't know how to? And they said this. And the probably oh. said this. They said it multiple times. Mm -hmm. Multiple times at the beginning of my. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to cater to black audiences. But you not, not even with you coming up. Remember when I first moved to LA in 2017, mm -hmm. 2018? A company that I was with told me, bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is you're too, you're too eccentric. Oh, that was the word that stuck with my mind for yeah. the rest of my life. When a brand, multi -billion, a multi-million dollar brand told me, mm -hmm. hey, you know, we know <laughs> you're signed to us and we take your money every month. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> you're too eccentric for us to give you brand deals. We don't know what yeah. to do with you. The fuck, bitch, why would you sign me? Mm -hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was not just, with, it, it that, carried on. Mm -hmm. Probably still going on to this day. I don't know. No, no, probably it is. Ooh. It is. Um, but I was the one take, biting the bullet. Mm -hmm. I, creators like me and Kingsley, mm -hmm. we were the ones taking the fall for it. Absolutely. And our numbers and our engagement and our uh, all types of uh, what is Black it? Blackballing Black balling behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. People didn't. Oh. <laughs> don't nobody know what the fuck has been going on. No, the real team. Behind the scenes. Yeah. So I had to sit back and say, hmm. <laughs> well, first of all, I took my, you know, my hiatuses to, to prioritize myself, my mental health. Um, my personal life. If people wanted to know why do you kind of mm -hmm. consistently stop uploading? Um, and once I came back, I, I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I actually don't give a fuck about making what the masses want me to make. I have mm -hmm. the numbers, I have the money. I actually just want to make. Mm -hmm. I want to create. Period. Um, and I'm going to do it sporadically. <laughs> I'm going to do it every I'm gonna six have months. <laughs> because Not twice a year. Uh, yeah. Because I'm having panic attacks hey. behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm going to, okay. Hey. <laughs> so what's weird? Going and just try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bitch. What? Talk about and I'm, I'm not to cut your story off, mm -hmm. but I want you to talk about just for me, mm -hmm. and I, I just want people to understand just the severity of it. Mm -hmm. That you're such an entertainer, you're such bitch, a pioneer. However, it got to a point where my friend got anxiety to get in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and when you told me that, I did. That's when I, at least for me, it clicked that oh, it's more serious than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. I'm just prefacing the story with context. But go mm -hmm. ahead, okay, I'm sorry. Once, after taking those six-month hiatuses, because <laughs> uh, I, I hate a bitch like me, leave the scene, pop back, hey, what's up? Um, once I realized, oh, I just want to create for me, and I can do that in whatever, I, I have the headspace to do that. That's when I realized, hmm, I've been doing it on the wrong platform. I've been doing it on a platform that hates me. And they're trying to, like, they're inching slowly, but surely they're trying to get to know me and get to understand how my, I can't turn my blackness and my queerness off the way that these other creators can. Mm -hmm. It spills into my art. It spills into everything that I do. Um, there's no way that I can package this in a way that is brand friendly for you because I can't leave my house brand friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Not crumbling. Because I brand friendly <laughs> when I get behind the wheel of my car. Come on now, bitch. And I don't have, for example, the Audi we run through here in LA, very grateful for her. Uh -huh. Cannot drive that in Dayton and not in, in LA, it's it's more normalized. Back home in Dayton, Ohio. We don't know that. Can't drive it without getting arrested. I've been arrested three times, mm -hmm. driving nice cars. Like nice cars. They think I stole it. Um Seriously? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> when I brought up the uh, being arrested in the last in, yeah. in uh, not in episode six. I thought you got arrested more than three Oh, no, no, seven. more than three times. Oh, okay. uh, but three, <laughs> I mean, seven to oh, no, a felon. But three of those, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, seven. 
but three of those times was because I was behind the wheel of a car. That right, they didn't think arrested I have been and booked. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. yeah. And did, um, but did they prove it later? Like the charges mm -hmm. no, dropped. No, we fought it. Okay. We fought it. I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. But yeah, we. <laughs> but just know she's been to jail. Um, didn't quite even a bit know that was possible. The time. No, yeah. But I mean, it's I possible. believe it. But like, oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Um, I can't make this brand friendly for you, YouTube. Mm. I can't make this brand friendly for you, Instagram. And I'm not going to. I know these other bitches will do mm -hmm. XYZ to get the, the bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the bag regardless. And I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> T. Um, but that has bitten me in the ass. So that is when, back in 2020, I said, yeah, uh, I got to go. <laughs> T. I got to go. My my content is entirely <laughs> too. It's the fade back <laughs> into the black. <laughs> It's the fade into the black, bitch. It's too fucking iconic. Yeah. I've worked entirely too hard. I'm giving y'all too much. I've got to put my business first. I've got to put my brand first. Um, I've got to I've got to go. And that's when I launched Trey Moven TV, my subscription service. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I got so many calls and so many emails after because I announced it on a live stream. Mm -hmm. George Floyd had just been murdered. Oh, I remember. And they wanted me to package that in a certain brand friendly way. And I said, girl, fucking please went the fuck off for two hours on live and right after once the same bitch the second that youtube said <laughs> you know yeah the demonetization yeah, bitch, you that's know, what it sounds like yellow <laughs> <laughs> i said nope bitch nope oh, I gotta, love that. that was this that was that was the click for me mm -hmm. that's when i realized <laughs> that's when i realized it's time to go mm -hmm. and i was serious mm -hmm. then and i said and and multiple uh, you know, videos after that, like, I'm not, if I did post on YouTube, it was a teaser, I you know, it was a teaser, it was a snippet, et cetera, um, a brand deal. And I would say, uh, don't get too excited. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming back, but this is, but this, you know, I do want y'all to at least be able to see yeah. X, Y, Z, you know, uh, for free. Yeah. And it was that, transition that woke you that really bit youtube mm -hmm. in the ass that's when the phone started blowing up email mm -hmm. started blowing up team mm -hmm. contacted um quite a few of my girls over at youtube told me baby <laughs> that shook the that you shook disrupt the, the fucking system <laughs> you disrupted everybody and, and the way they explained it, I know I wasn't giving this, but the way they explained it, it made me think about that SpongeBob. <laughs> and SpongeBob's head, everything on fire, and yes, cloud cabinets and shit. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I envisioned, envisioned yeah. what was going on based off. Of <laughs> I know that's not what the fuck was going on. Throwing out the window, you bitch. Very that. Yes. Um, but yeah, they said everybody is trying to figure out what went wrong, and I'm like, damn, I've been telling you for ten years. Mm. I've been trying to tell you what's not even just in this. It's not just about me. Bitch, just, I don't do this just for me. Come on. There's so many. There's so many, countless other creators, specifically black creators. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Black creators. That's what we're talking about. I want to make sure that girls know that's what we're talking mm -hmm. about. I just want to make sure y'all know because it is not the same. We are not the same, BB. No. <laughs> we're not the same. BB. Um, there's so many other creators that I do this for. And It wasn't until I left that we were able to actually sit down and YouTube was up able to say, okay, well, we got to do differently. Mm -hmm. And not even because obviously, yeah, they want wanted me back. Mm -hmm. And I am back now. Mm -hmm. Let me clarify that. I am mm -hmm. back. I'm back and I've chosen to bring my content back mm -hmm. to YouTube, but YouTube is not the only place. She's got her content everywhere. Come She's on got now. her bag everywhere. Come on. But it was when I, when I said, I'm done, I'm leaving, mm -hmm. that everybody woke up like oh wait maybe he's serious maybe we should actually listen so tying that back to doja <laughs> tying that back to i won't say lupex lupex said no i'm serious <laughs> um, <laughs> seen that nigga since. to jasmine who else is quick there's somebody different artists uh bitch uh, ari that's almost fucking says ari uh -huh. it wasn't until they had those conversations or until they'd said i'm done mm -hmm. that the conversations began happening behind the scenes mm -hmm. like okay what can we do to get you to stay. To get this program better. And sometimes you gotta th th threaten the, the fuck and down. I, but I wanna <laughs> piggyback off you saying, you mm -hmm. know, it's not really a threat. Mm -hmm. It's more so, it's, not it's, it's, baby. Threat, it's standing up for what you believe in for mm -hmm. yourself. As an artist, and let's, let's, are we talking about mental health, mm -hmm. 
and how bitches don't give a fuck about our mental health as entertainers. And mm. I understand why. We get paid to make you laugh. We get paid to make your day better. We yeah, get it. it is I'm not just going to sit here and complain about what I chose to do with my life. Mm-hmm. However, comma, <clears throat> we have to stand up for ourselves when we're not feeling right. And we also need to allow your faves, your favorite creators, your favorite celebrities, whoever the fuck you adore and watch and help you get through your day. Mm-hmm. We need to normalize bitches having off days. Mm-hmm. We need to normalize bitches being like, you know what, today I'm not feeling it. Mm-hmm. I know I, I, I am this big famous bitch, but you know what, today I don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. I don't. And when they don't have, when we see our faves get into those moments, we instantly, oh, you're not grateful. Oh my God, Doja got that so much when she said I want to quit. I was so pissed. Because I'm like, this is the main bitch that's so, I couldn't find a more grateful bitch mm-hmm. for her career. Because mm-hmm. it's like, she knows how many people adore and support her. She, it, it, don't, it, you're talking about somebody that doesn't understand how famous they really are. Mm-hmm. And the reason why she doesn't understand how famous she really is is because she don't give a fuck. When I say I'm not gonna give a fuck about fame, <laughs> I never met a bitch that's so famous to be like I am. I'd be like, mm-hmm. bitch, girl. <laughs> but she did that because she loves the craft. Mm-hmm. She loves making it. Mm-hmm. Not really about the money or the fame. I mean, it's nice. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> but bitch, I want my shit to be cunt. Mm-hmm. Period. And I want to loop that around and ask you like Doja saying about her mental health and why Mm -hmm. she's really stepping back from this whole thing because there's a lot of things she's going on behind the scenes with her shit that she'll open up and talk about one day Mm -hmm. if she chooses to. I want to ask you, did you, you know, when you told me about you having anxiety Mm -hmm. by getting in front of the camera, for me, when you told me that, it kind of put everything into perspective Mm -hmm. because like I said, we all grew up on your content. Bitch, you are one of the originator girls to have one of the bitches that be like, oh girl, I pioneered this shit. And you don't, and you wasn't talking like this back then, by the way. Mm-hmm. You wasn't really acknowledging your own shit. It like, wasn't. I'm kinda, I'm kinda, I'm sickening. You wasn't. didn't get to that. Mm-hmm. And I want people to know that this is not how you roll. Mm-hmm. So it's, I'm happy that you're finally talking like this, mm-hmm. but I need puff, motherfuckers to understand, it got to a point where you didn't want to turn the camera on and when you sat down, nothing came out. Mm-hmm. I remember even when we tried to film a collab, you told me, Zach, I just can't do it. Mm-hmm. I said, oh my God. And that's when we had the conversation, like, bitch, it's deeper than you think. Yeah. And if you finally let me in on how bad it really was for you, how YouTube has been doing you, how these platforms tried to blackball you mm. after you stood up for yourself and say that your content, because this is about around the time when Apocalypse came around mm. and they were demonetizing every bitch. You could have said, booger. And it'd be like, ah, that's too close to the other shit. That bitch, you're broke. <laughs> yeah. No money for you, girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so with channels like you that literally made content that was realistic, it had no fucking, it, 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 this is just, you know, this is friendly for everybody mm-hmm. else. You know, this is digestible for everybody else. <laughs> bitch, I don't give a fuck. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about black people's shit. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about my experiences growing up and I'm doing it in a comedic way. YouTube wanted to shut you up. Mm-hmm. And I didn't understand how it took you mentally. And to us as an audience outside looking in, we think like Trey just, you know, Trey will come back when he feel like it. he's just being yeah. funny, X, Y, and Z. You know, he probably, people probably thought you, you got rich, so he probably left and got the fuck on. Yeah. Talk about how when you got in front of the camera, you didn't feel the same. Take us, can you take me there? At least tell them what you, not all you told me then, but bitch. No, listen. You look, yeah. <laughs> but well, but here's the tea. No, no. <laughs> but just paint that picture for people at home that, because there's some people at home that maybe feel, even at their job, mm. it's not always just in entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Some bitches that get to work and be like, this doesn't click anymore. This is actually, this was something that I loved. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't really speak for, you know, of the industries obviously um i can only speak for my own and it isn't at the end of the day like we say it is a job Mm -hmm. um entertainment is a job but i i I just i really wish that audiences held more grace for people whose job like i've said before directly intertwines with their humanity Mm -hmm. um this is not a nine to five (laughs) we do not go to um, a call center. You know, mm-hmm. we don't work at a call center. We don't go to the call center. Mm-hmm. Clock in at nine. And do our job. Do whatever supervisor tells you to do. <laughs> at five, girl, don't fucking call bitch, me. Bitch, don't call don't me. Don't fucking call me. I'm off me. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Thursdays, if you call me, I'll punch you in the face. I'll, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dead ass. This is not that. We mm-hmm. never clock out. Mm. Um, 
And I wish that audiences held more space and gave more grace for that. Like you said, just it held space for off days. Mm-hmm. Space for it. I actually don't feel like getting the fuck up, and mm. that's what it became. That's when the anxiety started intertwining with, with what I do. Mm. Um, when I realized that I was going through, I was battling so much, mm-hmm. so 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 much behind the scenes. But my my job, yeah. still had to do my job. Yeah. I still had to turn on that camera. I still yeah. had to um, walk into that studio. X Y Z get the X Y Z call. She said I still had to do my job. Mm. Um, and plaster a smile on my face, that's when the anxiety started kicking in. Mm-hmm. Like, hmm, I still have to make, I still have to entertain people. <laughs> and NASCAR, a stan. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be saying, <safe>. damn. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to act like everything is okay and, mm-hmm. I'm, and I'm dying inside. And that, I mean, that is the, that comes with with most jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you don't feel like getting the fuck up in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, well, I still got to get my ass to work. If somebody got to pay most fucking jobs. bills. Listen, but it doesn't turn off for us. There is no break time. There's we don't take. There's no vacation time. Ooh, you know talk, what I mean? Ooh. I mean, if we want it, like we can. We work for nah, ourselves. Nah, bitch. We can do but that remember how you used to tell me that about that shit, though. Mm-hmm. Bitch, remember, I remember you used to tell me, Zach, take time for yourself. Mm-hmm. To the you point where to. Terrell had to fucking, uh, bitch, what mm-hmm. are you doing? Like. I, we don't turn it off. We don't mm. know. We, you know how bitches be like, I got paid time off mm. and I got vacation time. PTO and shit. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> if I go out for two weeks, bitch, that's two weeks of income that will not come to my goddamn account. Because <laughs> you're not booked and campaigns are year round. <laughs> Branded coin is year round. <laughs> Sorry. And if you decline, they will move the fuck on. <laughs> You won't work in this industry again. Good night. <laughs> People don't oh, get that. Oh, not People trauma. Don't get that. Laughing at trauma, right. bitch. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It's yeah. horrible. I mean, I don't, uh, again, and don't want to sit here and say, well, it was me. Not trying to give that. Girl, no. Very blessed. We <laughs> are fortunate. Very fucking blessed. Very fortunate. But mm-hmm. there is uh, that side. <laughs> but I think maybe, that is that why bitches don't give us corner. grace, though? Oop. I think so. Why do you think bitches don't give us or bitches like Doja Grace? Because you're fucking making millions. The I fuck think, would you be sad about? I think that that's what exactly exactly what it is. I think it's the um, disconnect. Am I speaking too much? P R P R in the back of my head. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I think that there is a disconnect um how do i say this Mm -hmm. without being tired (laughs) well being tired ass podcast (laughs) i kind of want to loop it around to what we talked about in episode six Mm -hmm. with why you can't bring everyone up with you Mm. And that's a triggering topic for me, still. <laughs> <laughs> Not just, my bad. Did I just punch you in the face? Yeah, a little bit. Um, when you go home mm-hmm. and you want to talk to your friends mm-hmm. about how you've worked your ass off on this podcast, for example, mm-hmm. and how we have XYZ plans behind the mm-hmm. scenes to elevate with the podcast and working on your music and Absolutely. you're um, producing your videos, et cetera, or just everything that you're doing at the level that you're at now. Yeah. And then you're met with, oh, well, everybody ain't got it like that. Um, I think it comes down to- From that mentality. Yeah. And a disconnect, a level disconnect. And, and that's not to say that <laughs> Everyone's just below um, Doja, <laughs> but <laughs> the things that she and artists in general, the things that we do, um, they seem so out of reach yeah. to the average person. Absolutely. So you, they think that they have the authority. Come on. Um, the agency mm-hmm. to talk every any old which way. Mm-hmm. Because it won't touch them, if that makes sense. That makes all the sense. 
you think because Doja has twenty thousand views on mm -hmm. this video, like oh well she ain't she ain't seen that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she not gonna see my my hate, my energy. She not gonna see it. Are you sure? <laughs> you would be fucking surprised. Fucking surprised. <laughs> Although Doja may not sit down and see it, cause girl, please. <laughs> Somebody on that team do. Rich. And that dictates that dictates everything Come else coming after. Come on. Well, the people didn't like that. So you Scrap. need to. Oof. So now you need to do this. Don't even give a fuck if you enjoy that. Oh, Sorry, well. but I loved it. Don't care. Don't give a fuck. Come on, bitch. Oh, I love. See, this is why we love Trey in this household. My bitch know how to put shit into words because I'll be tired. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost was. I, was almost I love you. Canceled. I love you so much. Oh God, if Trey was not here, this show would be canceled three episodes ago. <laughs> well, that's a scrap. <laughs> Ruined my whole career. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, because you ain't got the fuck up. Some Buffalo Wild Wings. Some Buffalo Wild Wings. I go. I'll be slanging wings again. There is nothing wrong with Buffalo Wild Wings. No, but nothing bitch, at all. I will That's pull up. You were there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Listen, me, Bob Evans. I think that, that uh. classism, I think that the classism, the success, the fame, the money, that all paints a picture that it feels like it's not realistic, that it's not obtainable. So then it's easy to be like, well, bitch, you're rich. Mm. Bitch, you're famous. Shut the fuck up. Stop mm. complaining. Meanwhile, <laughs> you don't know the half of why I'm rich, why mm. I'm famous. It's always, I'm going to just wrap this up. Mm -hmm. There's always a cost. Mm -hmm. And I think bitches don't understand that. And uh, there's some bitches out there that get it. And my independent artists really get it out there. I love y'all, bitch. I know y'all get it, bitch. Okay. There's always a cost to whatever. When that 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 saying that bitches and our back our grandma say, bitch, everything that shines and glitters is mm -hmm. not gold. That is so. F and then in this industry, I learned it the the worst. Mm -hmm. That that is so fucking true. And I like I said, we're not complaining. We're not what was mean. And mm -hmm. Doja's not either. Nobody that is coming out and complaining, not even complaining, vocalizing their mental issues mm -hmm. and their issues with an industry, with this industry, is not complaining. No, it's not complaining. It's standing up for your voice and mm. remembering and reminding this industry that you're still fucking human mm. and I still got fucking feelings. And y'all gonna acknowledge that shit, bitch. Mm. Period. That's to fans. That's to, that's to corporations. That's to labels. That's to brands. Everybody needs to understand mm. that I'm human still. Mm. And if we just sat back like they did back in the day, our old greats that paved the way for us, okay. that took... You bitch, you wanna talk about mental beatings? Get the fuck out my face, girl. I, I couldn't even fathom what our greats had to do for what how we how we have this podcast today right now. Mm. Our ancestors had to do for to get oof. Mm. Our entertainment ancestors at that mm. that paved the way. I'm talking about bitch broke all the barriers. Mm. Took all like you said, bought bit the bullet. Mm. That's why I'm sitting here with you right now. It's, it's shit like that. If we, if our audience members and brands can understand that this industry, it will not change overnight. It won't be the best thing in the world because it's still an industry. It's still no. a business. But it, we can at least bring some humility in it and it can at least get a little easier. Mm. And that's what people like artists like Doja, you and Jasmine and me, we're all saying that we love to entertain. We love what we do. We are mm. grateful for what we have done. We're grateful for the fans. We're grateful for the money and all these things of the nature. But however, comma, Please consider us as human and our mm. mental health. That's all we're asking. That's all we're asking. So when Doja comes out and say, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but she also, she, you have to realize my bitch is a goofy bitch. She's dramatic. You know, she likes to get the girls around. That's my bitch. Oh, I love you, bitch. But in the, in the, in the message and all that is, yes, I'm taking myself first this time. Mm. And I love her for that. And I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to follow suit mm. if I feel some type of way. I'm going to take a goddamn. Break. I'm going to take a break. Mm. I'm going to take a break. You know, but, you know, bitches like me. I love to work though, bitch. I feel like if I'm not creating, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. so, you know, this is not work for me. Um, but the other side of it, when people tell you how to feel or how you should feel and how you should maneuver and X, Y, and Z, mm. that's when it does become a problem. Yeah. And I appreciate you for even opening up about this. Number one, because nobody really understood this as a commentary behind mm. that. You. Ooh, because bitch, I can give you a tens about the writing, the produce, the production, Thank and you. it's all you. And Thank you. the light that you've given to the world, but the darkness that you have behind the scenes, and you really not even telling all the tea, but mm. just that glimpse that you tell in the world. I hope people really understand how much it means when you fucking say, "Bitch, I'm taking care of my mental health. Mm. Respect me." Thank you.
<laughs> Wait, I want to ask one more thing real fast. Yes. I want to ask Trey. So you said that you had anxiety in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. How did you overcome that? Because here you are on camera and you might still be anxious, but you seem great. So. Um, I'm weak, but you seem great. <laughs> you seem I, like you're doing well. I'm always naturally anxious, but I also just... Mm. Are you and not to say you seem great that I'm not acknowledging your anxiety. It just oh, yeah. seems you're handling it well. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I hear that all the time. Um, <laughs> all the time. Because really, I'm just a professional girl. I know. Going back to Raven. Mm -hmm. I know when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Come on, bitch. Um, at the end of the day, this is my job. But it's gotten easier for me to get back in front of the camera. Um, because I did take that time for myself. Mm -hmm. I, I did take that time. I did take those hiatuses. Mm -hmm. um, I did confront what was keeping me from doing what I love, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that's the only you know, way that I'm here. It's the only reason I'm here today because I, I did confront it. And did you, you know. did you not have anxiety on camera at first? Your channel grew really big and you started getting anxiety and then you had to take the hiatus? Or was it always anxiety? Like how did it happen to where now you were on camera so much that it was like, oh, I can't be on camera anymore. And then now you're out of it. But how did that exactly start? Um, <laughs> how do I say this easily? And <laughs> PR. Um, <laughs> So no, to, to answer your question, I wasn't always anxious at all. In front of the camera, it was actually my getaway. You know, it was my, my go-to. Um, my place to say and to vocalize the shit that I couldn't necessarily, necessarily say or vocalize, you know, in person. And <laughs> there was a specific chapter in my life back in 2017 um, when a former friend of mine um, and this is getting more into the spiritual side of things we all know that energy is transferable some people are more powerful at transferring energy than others mm -hmm. some people are living with really 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 dark energies mm -hmm. and most people can't feel it because they aren't as you know sensitive to energy y'all know I'm very sensitive to energy <sighs> um this person <laughs> oh you i know i know bitch my bitch trying to creep 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 around it <laughs> you know this person and you've been I'm, through I'm after i warned you you went through xyz with him Oof. um this Oof, person trend listen literally cleansed. <laughs> literally um this person transferred some really 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 evil energy to me and they've always been very anxious so I grew up with anxiety, but I didn't know I didn't have a name for it because one, growing up black, we don't have we didn't have names. We have names now, but we didn't have names for um, anything mental health mm -hmm. disorder oriented. And I had shut off, like I've said before, I shut off my emotions, mm. so I didn't really know what I was feeling. Mm. Um, once I knew what I was feeling, and then was transferred that very dark energy. <laughs> um, the best way I know how to explain it, he he transferred his anxiety to me. And it's the darkest point I've ever been at in my life. I don't know how to explain it. I won't try to. It's the darkest, scariest thing I've ever gone through, ever experienced. Everything around me, I was paranoid with. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say maybe like a year and a half. Um, there were lingering effects like before and after, mm -hmm. but there was a very specific point. I remember going home and being anxious around my mom and my dad and my sister, like paranoid, mm -hmm. paranoid with my family. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so dark. <laughs> oh. Almost took myself out a couple of times. Yes. Um, yes and Kathy yes, was yes. just there. That was the one time. And when I say Kathy is the only person on this earth, <laughs> you're the only bitch I trust up in here. Mm -hmm. That's the only person on this earth. I love everybody around me, but that's the only bitch that I trusted with every part of me. Absolutely. I knew that in my darkest, she, I knew I could trust her to rebrand it for me and make me feel comfortable and, um, and remind me just of love, to bring me back to love. Mm -hmm. And that was the one time that she couldn't. That was the one time that I was even paranoid with her. Mm-hmm. It was so That dark. was that time where that was the time because I just came around and you were full visiting time. with me. 
the before weekend that, that that happened. Yes, no, the this very was specific weekend. I'm that, oh, you talk about that? Mm-hmm. This was the time where this was a different side. This is I didn't know the full scope yet. Remember, mm-hmm. but you kind of let me know a little bit, but I didn't know the full scope. So mm-hmm. when I finally put everything together, I noticed that y'all were very combative mm-hmm. for the first time. I was like, "What the fuck they getting into it like this?" Mm-hmm. Like y'all just couldn't see eye to eye for shit. And you saw my me and Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. And I was like, and, and I remember Kathy talking to me, you know, vaguely because we didn't all know each other like 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 that. But she mm-hmm. was just like, "Bitch, this doesn't usually happen. I don't know what am I doing wrong." Mm-hmm. And I had to tell her like, "Bitch, I mean, girl, you know, we all have our." Op- I didn't like I said, I didn't know those <laughs> scopes. So I'm just telling her like, "Bitch, mm-hmm. you know, we all have our days. X Y and Z, bitch. X Y and Z." But she like, "No, Zach, you have to mm-hmm. understand. Trey has never." We have never not mm-hmm. clicked. And when we finally, when I moved here and when we finally got into the full T and I saw it for myself, I said, mm, got you. Mm-hmm. Now it all made sense. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, this bitch tried to destroy you from the inside out, mm-hmm. this certain person. I said, oh, bitch, wow. And evil at that because you were so, before that whole situation, Trey, the light, bitch, just, hey, y'all, let's go, you know, <laughs> anybody, just love, just, tr- oh, you were so trusting and just open, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, 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 that shit happened, that bitch said, oh, girl, close shop, bitch. <laughs> Fuck all you hoes in here, girl. Oh, my God. I will remember that vaguely. And I was like, wow, what the fuck? But that's what happens. That's what happens. Was it like an event? I don't want you to, you know, expose any specific details. But for the viewers, like, when you said it was energy, I guess two questions. One, do you Mm -hmm. mean, like, I don't really see them, but do you see auras? Is that what you mean by dark energy? Is that what you're saying? (laughs) And two... Was it like just the person around you was like, wow, this person's really anxious. They're like rubbing off on me and they're kind of shady. Or was it like mm-hmm. something very specific in action they did to you that caused this? Does that make sense? I don't know if my um, question was worth No, it does. I love your questions. And I know the audience does too. I know the audience like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a story. Yeah, it's really deep. <laughs> it's something I don't like in layman's terms, because um, there's a lot. There's so much that I didn't know then. Mm-hmm. Again, this was what twenty. I think this was. Yeah, this was early twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. There's so much that I didn't know, even as like elevated as I was becoming on my spiritual journey. So much I didn't know then, but learned. <laughs> Um, just about the different energies mm-hmm. that we can transfer to each other. Mm-hmm. So, for example, there is um, a very specific energy. Again, this is just layman's terms. All my spiritual bitches watching this, I know y'all know the tea. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a very specific energy that we can transfer to people called sabotage energy. Ooh. And that is so we were just talking about a, a, a young lady that's been doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's been doing a lot of that around the city of Los Angeles. Yes, baby. Um, <laughs> when you are naturally, and sometimes you don't even feel it, but if you're just naturally jealous of someone, Ooh. you can send off a sabotage energy. So this person, we had a... <laughs> oh, you are spilling, but I wish the girl... Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. We had a game night this mm-hmm. night. Where I think we went out to WeHo, mm-hmm. and you were not with us, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> went out to WeHo, great night, drinking, da-da-da. Trey used to be, like you said, a, a, she was a different girl. Oof. But much more inviting, uh, much more trusting. Everybody used to be up in my home. Ooh. And um, would have game nights regularly. We would go out and then come back and have game nights. Trey be supplying all the liquor, et cetera. Okay, come on now. Um, paying for everybody. Paying to get for in, everybody. The oh, rides, the training. bottles, the food. Ooh, what a time. Thank you. I'm just you keeping the people to. on you contact. Me. I just had to put... Because I, I need motherfuckers to know how trusting you really were at that time in life. Yeah. Yeah. She was doing a lot for the mm-hmm. girls. Um, That's how you learn, though. That is how you learn, Bad and I've learned. Have to I'm so grateful. Learn, yeah. yeah. I'm grateful for those lessons, but my God. <laughs> <laughs> but my God. My God, it didn't have to happen like that. <laughs> um, we went back after going out. We had a game night. We played this thing called Ring of Fire, which I think I mentioned in episode one, which I do want to play on this oh, podcast. Oh, we have to. Um... There's a card in Ring of Fire called Hot Seat. 
and Oof, whoever what picked what a fucking bitch oh, but i love it a whore. Bitch. i loved it it was my favorite yeah Oof. um <laughs> if you pick up that card everyone in the circle goes around and asks you a question they think makes you uncomfortable oh, okay. and if you don't want to answer it, you don't have to. You just take a sip and move on. Oh. Well, I didn't. I ain't play with no weak bitches, so we always answer the questions. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. This person picked up the card, and a friend of ours asked him a question about his mother, which is a very triggering question or topic for him. And subconsciously, he started sending a sabotage energy off to the circle in general mm -hmm. to avoid the question. Mm -hmm. And do you? With the, I don't know much about auras, but is mm. that what you mean? Like, you do you see this dark energy, or do you just feel it? I feel it. Okay. I feel it. Um, I'm getting better at seeing it. Okay. I'm getting better at seeing it, but I'm, I'm, I feel it. Mm. So now I'm just learning how to trust what I feel. But I didn't, I just, I felt it slowly but surely throughout that night. So that sabotage, mm. that energy yeah. that he tried to send, he tried to send it to the person that okay. asked the question. Oh, okay. But because I'm the most susceptible to energy. Yeah. It came to Because you're empathetic. Yeah. We talked about that last time, the apples. Yeah. Okay, look, the apples. I'm crying. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why do I got to throw you a <laughs> um, <laughs> It came to me. Yeah. So slowly but surely throughout the night, and, and bear in mind, this is already like three in the morning, and me and Kathy, and my group in general, but me and Kathy, we the bitches that stay up until 2 p.m. the next day. Mm. Okay. So everybody going to sleep, trickling off one okay. by one. I was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Good I night. was the first one. Good night. Good night, everyone. So you didn't know any. You didn't feel any I of this shift not. at all. Got the fuck you out were of in there. sleep. Yeah, I understand. That's your shit. Yes. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Slowly but surely throughout the night, I get really, really, really anxious and really paranoid. Yeah. And I just remember um, it was just me and Kathy by the, what seven, eight, like eight in the morning. Me and Kathy, we sitting at my island. And oh, I missed that home. Mm -hmm. was that was my. That, that, I, I would move um, there to the today. I, I would move back. <laughs> I would move back now that we're anyway. Uh -huh. Um, I, I heard. I, I heard the devil. <laughs> this is the best way I could put it in it. the best. I heard yes. the devil, and it was coming from Kathy. It was coming from the bitch that was the least of the devil. It was the exact opposite okay. of darkness. Um. And that's where it started. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. And over time, for the next couple months, I knew that it had come. I, I knew I, I knew that it came from, I was about to say their name. I knew that it came from that person, but I didn't. I was so paranoid and in my head and my anxiety and my panic attacks. Because I remember the first time I had an actual panic attack in my life. Um, leaving, a, it was a, I had a meeting with Lionsgate. Really wow. great meeting with Lionsgate. Yeah. Nothing, nothing triggering. Got in my Uber on my way back to my home. Had a panic attack in the back seat, and that's when I knew something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. Mm. Um, and I finally spoke up to them and said, "Yeah, I think you did something that night, <laughs> cause I'm <laughs> I, I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to fucking die." Did they own up to it? We got in. They owned up to it. Okay. They owned up to it. They were like, "Oh, she told me sooner." We called a spiritual, um, holistic friend of ours. Um, who does Reiki. For those of you who don't know Reiki, Reiki is a form of um, holistic healing. You heal through through love and light. Mm -hmm. um, if you're familiar with Reiki, I'm actually a Reiki uh, practitioner myself. I don't talk about that much because I forget often. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I learned like with, from her, mm -hmm. she, she basically went in and she read me. She from, I think she's based in New York. Um, Best way I know to explain it, she read me like a spirit, like a like a fax. Mm. It was like a fax, mm. like a document yeah. mm. of my spiritual DNA. Mm. <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, you have this going on. You got that. Your family has this. Mm. Your bloodline has this. Your great, 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 grand, uh, you know, uh, oh, ancestors studied this. They, they studied this back in Africa. Got wow. magic here, there, there. I was like, oh, sickening. Oh, and you've got this demon on your back. Let me clear that. <laughs> And by the way, you've got a demon on your back. <laughs> Somebody gave you that. Well, Let me clear that. And no one, unless you have had like a Reiki healing session, you don't know what I mean. Um, I don't expect people to get it, but that's, I didn't even get it before that session. Mm -hmm. I woke up the next day clear. Okay. I felt, I literally, as she was going through my, you know, healing my body, I felt it I was, as I was laying in that bed. 
across the country from her. And it's only something I know how to explain and attest to because I felt it. Um, that chapter was the beginning of me facing my anxiety, my own anxiety, not just what this person transferred to me, but my own anxiety, my own depression, my own triggers, my own traumas back home. I ended up packing up not too long after that in LA, um, put everything, my entire life in storage. And I went home and for a period of time, I wrote a poetry book, I cried, I drank, I talked to my mom, I talked to my dad, I talked to my sister, I talked to all my friends about all that deep rooted shit and unpacked all of that. And it wasn't, it is because I went through that and did that hard shadow, dark, deep work Unraveling that I'm able to, yeah, mm -hmm. that I'm able to be back in front of the camera. And answer. to answer your question in the longest way, <laughs> <laughs> but I Beautiful hope that someone answer. resonated with that, you know? Yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah. One of the things that I had to let go of or had to face was my necessity to please people. I had to figure out why it was that I've always wanted to be an entertainer, why it was that I've always wanted to be in the public eye, why it was that I've always wanted to change the world like this, like what what is it? And make sure that it was for me, that it was, um, that I was doing, that I am doing what is good for me, what benefits me, what is healthy for me. Yeah. And in that, I learned like, oh, I've been doing a lot of shit that everybody else want me to want me to do. Mm -hmm. Especially coming up in comedy on YouTube, everybody. If you come up in comedy, bitch, anywhere they want you to stick, hey, stay, you stay there. there. <laughs> stay Don't there. you dare move. Don't you dare leave that fucking box, bitch. Who the yeah. fuck do you think you are, bitch? What do you mean you can do X, Y, get? get <laughs> back the fuck up oh, get yes. the fuck back up in there yes and that was a lot to to come to terms with like no i want to do everything yeah and i had to say you know what no fuck it <laughs> fuck it i want to do i want to do what is good for me i want to yeah. do what the fuck i want to do yeah so to, to pour that into you mm. and to circle that back around to you you're releasing we're both releasing music very soon <sighs> But you are releasing your first, first meeting. My first, 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 first After baby. doing reviews, Oof. pop culture and music reviews, critiquing the girls for years. Yeah, for, for four years straight. It is time for the tables to turn for mm -hmm. the girls to critique you. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you think, Zach, took you so long to get comfortable with releasing this very, very, very vulnerable side. Because <laughs> your music is your baby and you're so, you're phenomenal. You're phenomenal, you're a natural born performer. The girls, they don't know. Oof. <laughs> but you're so good at what you do. Um, and y'all will soon see. Oh yes. What, what took you so long to get here? A lot of, uh, I'm gonna just be blankly honest. Period. Please. And I'm doing this only because I, I'm going to break all of the fourth wall because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think I'm just this strong individual. Mm -hmm. I hated myself for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I told myself I wasn't good enough mm -hmm. to be able to entertain the world and other than being funny mm -hmm. or other than. So long story short, I, I got into music re reviewing on accident, by the way, mm -hmm. because I love music and I just loved pop culture. So I was just like, well, bitch, this is funny. X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. I want to just keep key with the internet off of this. This is before reaction videos was a thing. So I kind of pioneered that era of reactions, right? So it started to it happen after that. Mm -hmm. And I kind of thought that, well, this is the closest I'll ever get to music. My mind you, while I was doing all this music critiquing, I was in show choir, theater, Mm. loved making uh, music. I started to write but myself, and it was shitty, but like, <laughs> shitty to my standards <laughs> now. But then at that time, mm. it was sickening. But I didn't have the courage to share because I didn't think that one, nobody would want to see a plus size black boy that was gay from Detroit mm. dance to pop music. Mm. I didn't want people to think that, oh, he's not black because he wants to do pop music. You don't want to do R&B, rap, you know, anything that's 
identified as black for some reason that I guess genres are owned by black people. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, bitch, you can you don't do anything else besides that. And I'm like, no, I want to be a pop star. But like, I am. I was at that time almost 400 pounds. Uh, didn't find myself attractive. Uh, didn't think because I'm not skinny, I'm not talented. Being honest. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I didn't think that nobody would want to see what I had to say Mm -hmm. because it didn't fit any status. Nothing was like that. Nothing was presented that way. So I I buried it. And I don't know if anybody out there knows what it feels like to bury a dream, but it is not cute. Because when you bury a dream, that shit haunts you like a nightmare when you're awake and it definitely when you're asleep. Every day I felt, I almost, it got to a point where I would look at people releasing stuff and get angry. I'm like, that should be me. Mm-hmm. What I can do. So that's how I actually Bopper Flop actually got birthed, to be quite honest with you. It became like, if I can't do it, mm-hmm. or it felt like I can't do it, well, I'll help other people. Because I never wanted to shit on people. I didn't think that. I, I saw the Perez Hiltons and the the, the Jason Lees of the world. I said, that's tired. I don't want to do that. No shade to y'all. You're, you're beautiful, but I don't give a shit <laughs> about that. That's not how I want it. I was like, we don't have anybody on the internet that's telling these pop stars that I adore. Mm-hmm. Hey, from a fan's perspective, try this. Mm-hmm. You know? And so that's why you rarely see me ever give a flop out. Because I was like, hey, this is cute, but maybe X, Y, and Z. And that was only because I didn't think that nobody wanted to see what I had to say. And it took me four years to here we are today to, I lost weight. I had to fall in love with me. Mm-hmm. Long story short, I had to fall in love with me. I had to go, I had to scrap it all and say, hold up, <laughs> wait a minute. And to be honest with you, it all changed when all my faves started to reach out to me. It all reached out, it all changed when my faves, the people that I adored, the people I loved, the people I gave all these, praise to was like bitch I love you I'm like wait a minute me I'm tired I'm fat I'm from Detroit and black dark skinned at that oh we talk about colorism listen cause <laughs> child and so nobody wants to hear what I have to say you still want me to be funny and maybe just be you know the fat black kid that was funny no shade but that's what I felt and to be quite honest some comments kept me in that box to mm-hmm. be like that that you will never be, be bigger than that so I lost weight because not for everybody else, but for me, because I said, I want to prove something to myself. And I am worthy. And I don't, I don't need to be fucking bony skinny to be sickening. Mm-hmm. Woke all that up in myself when I moved to Los Angeles, got started in Los Angeles, talked to you about these kind of things and poured into you. And, you know, you broke down all these walls of why are you not pushing yourself to the farthest? Bitch, you're so much more sickening than this. And I remember actually very, 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 very vividly you saw one of my dance videos at one point and was like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, you know, just being funny. And you're like, no, Zach, dude, what, are you, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> and that, those pushes from you, like, you, Ricky Denzel, pushed me to be like, no, believe in yourself. You're way more than the, being a bitch to talk on the internet, girl. Mm-hmm. I had to believe in myself. I had to love on myself. And now I'm at a point in my career where it's time for me. And I didn't rush myself. I, you know, I've been making music for two years. You know, I've been at this process for two years. The EP that you guys will hear later this year has been in the making for two whole years. Mm-hmm. And it's been longer. <laughs> way longer, <laughs> but like pen to paper, recording yeah. things, having it in, uh, the intention, knowing the purpose of the project has been two years. Because I finally said, this is my sound, this is my purpose, this is me. Mm-hmm. I feel that now there is way more room in the industry for me, obviously, because of the Lizzo's, the Nas's, and the, mm-hmm. excuse me, shout out to all my friends like that, and you know, that broke all the modes of like, bitch, you can do what the fuck you wanna do. Mm-hmm. And I saw this, and I said, whoa, bitch, this is my time. And it's, 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 we don't, I, I wanna represent for the people that think like that, mm-hmm. that you're not skinny enough, you don't sing well enough, you don't hit the notes like X, Y, and Z, you maybe can't dance like this, you maybe can't song write like that, 
And I'm like, but bitch, I'm talented. Mm. I let all those thoughts add up in my mind to stop me. And I buried that dream. But bitch, today, <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> But I had to, I, I believe in my project now. I believe in the song I'm making. The bop that's gonna come out with the, by the time this airs by next month, it is going to be, I wanted to make music that I wanted to make, mm-hmm. that I always wanted to see a black big boy do. No, I'm not the biggest boy anymore, but bitch, I am still that girl. Mm-hmm. I will always be a bigger boy. I don't want to fit into the mold. I, I, I thought I needed to fit into the mold of a celebrity or a pop star. But I don't. But it took me four or five years to get to this point. It took me so long to get to this point. But I'm grateful for it. I I, I think that I wouldn't be the entertainer that I'm going to be once my music comes out and everything. I wouldn't be that entertainer if I didn't go through that shit. Mm -hmm. If I didn't go through the self-loving, finding myself as an artist, finding who I am as my identity as an artist. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do that, the music that I'm making today wouldn't sound the way it sounds. Because I would just try to do anything to please people, like just what you just said, bitch. Mm. Or fit a, fit a status quo, what's trending, what's doing this. Bitch, the song I got is three minutes and 45 seconds long. Loud Day songs are only two minutes and 15 seconds long, bitch. Mm-hmm. Are, you are really trying it. But that's because I believe in music. I believe in the craft. I believe in making something that's going to push the boundaries of pop music and what, they, what a pop star looks like. Mm-hmm. So that's why I, I stopped myself for so long. Because I didn't love myself. I didn't love what I looked like. I thought that it was supposed to look like something else. But it doesn't. It looks like me. Mm-hmm. And it looks like you. It looks like you. Mm-hmm. It looks like us. Because we make it. Artists shouldn't have a look. Mm-hmm. It should be whatever the fuck your talent is. And what the pen and paper you're doing. How you do production. It should be valued and voted on what you produce. Mm -hmm. Not how you look. But then again, I come from a place in Detroit. I love my family. My family has always been supportive. However, coming from a predominantly black place where everybody tells you, boy, you all right. Well, I feel like this. Boy, you all right. You suck it up. Mm -hmm. You'll be all right. You don't need no help. Oh. Just like, and I'm just going to piggyback off you. Just just how like, I want to say it was Taraji that came out and said, don't put strong black women on me no more. Mm. That's real fucking shit. Bitch, we, that whole strong, that means I can never be weak. I can never have a down moment. I can never Mm. have an insecure moment. And that's what I had painted for myself to the internet, that I'm just this strong, positive, you know, plus size black boy. Mm. And I am. But not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I struggle. I struggle to this day. So don't please don't think that it's I'm all clear and rainbows. I still struggle to this day. Mm-hmm. I still get anxiety when people ask me about music. I'm like, ah, you want you you still care? Do you actually care? People are like, bitch, mm-hmm. yes. I'm still learning how to be fucking brave in my music. By the way, mm-hmm. I'm still learning how to call myself an artist. Mm-hmm. I'm still learning how to do that. But I appreciate. I appreciate what I had to go through. And I'm learning to appreciate my mental fuck up when it comes to the mental scars I've had from the past and how I was teased for being a fat kid, Mm -hmm. you know? And I didn't notice how much that shit really fucked with me. I didn't notice how much trauma I had from being teased about being a bigger boy and dark skinned. It's quite Mm -hmm. interesting actually. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can't wait to release this music. I can't wait to show the world who I really, because performing for me, I love doing this. This is my shit. But bitch, you know, mm. performing, putting together a concept, directing, that is it for me. That's I am, it. I can do that shit for hours and mm. not even and forget that we do it. I'm mm. like, oh, bitch, oh shit, we gotta go home. Like when Beyonce used to say, like, bitch, I can do, I forget to eat, I mm. can do that. Because yeah. you're in it. It's not a job. You're having fun. Mm. So I can't wait to share this with the world and I can't wait for people to see it and be like, oh, that's the way that did reactions. Mm-hmm. That's the way that said Bopper Flop, and he was fat, and he was this, and he was that. But this bitch right here is not that girl. Mm-hmm. I want people to look at the music video like that was not that bitch. <laughs> she has got. She, if that bitch can do it like that, mm-hmm. can't wait for me. Mm-hmm. So I already know my music's not about me. I know my imagery and everything I'm about to do is not just for me. Mm-hmm. It's for that black boy or black girl or black them and they mm-hmm. out there looking like, bitch. I cannot wait. I can't wait to step out like that bitch did. Because mm. if that bitch can do it, so can I. Period. 
So that's that's me. That's my mental. That's my mental health right now. Mm. And I'm learning to love myself and really embrace my talent. I think that's another thing bitches don't do is embrace like bitch. You are con. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. You can say that. You can say that. You, can say that. you, can say that. you know, <laughs> this Gigiana. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy we made this a whole hour long for this Gigiana only because mental health y'all I know we talk about it throughout this whole season but mental health this episode in particular when it comes to entertainment and dreams and taking time for yourself this you know this means more than Doja but Doja has brought it to the mainstream Mm -hmm. of bitch care about yourself Mm -hmm. take care of you because if you don't the things that you do won't matter (laughs) it won't matter you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'm proud of you i'm proud of you i'm dead ass proud of you but only but it's because of you i've gotten to this point if i didn't have friends like you and family like you i wouldn't be here bitch i already know that i know that for a fact i wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about those those insecurities because i didn't i you remember bitch i was terrified to even acknowledge those things i remember and you was like, uh-uh. <laughs> what you won't do is sit up here and act like you can't. And you're not right now. <laughs> I live for a bitch. I live for a bitch. I will read you, bitch. That girl, you're not cut right now. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Should we get into games and gags? Let's get into games and gags. Games and gags, games and gags, games and gags, games and gags. Let's do it one more time because they we missed it in episode six. We did, so I want to make it up. Yeah. Five, a six, a Five, one, six. two, three. Nice. Games, games and gags, games and gags, games and gags, games and gags. Nice, bitch. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Now. What are we here we go. Today? Here we go. Here we go. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now. Okay, we go. so we're doing the note oh. card game. <laughs> uh huh. I'm gonna write a word. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> oh, you stink, you dusty nigga. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna write a word. <laughs> I'm going to write around this note code and I'm going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. You have to then guess with yes or no answers mm-hmm. if uh, what that word is on your forehead. I'm sorry. One second real quick. Yes. What's, what's the name of your show on Adult Swim? Oh, uh, what is it? The uh, Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. It's called Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth and the Adventures. Uh, something. I thought uh, it was more than that, right? It's, it's a long name, actually. Not you don't forget. It's Lady Macbeth. And it's my, it's, that's my name and the, the character name. Right. And then something about dinosaurs and the adventures of something dinosaurs. Why? What you bring up? I just want to, I want them to tune in. Because that. Oh, <laughs> you didn't just get to the, the voice acting. I stand. It came out. I stand, yeah. It did. I just want y'all to tune oh, in to, to, to Zachary again, Campbell's actually. pilot on yes. Adult Swim. Yes, it's on um, their YouTube Lady channel Macbeth, right now. And just Google Lady Macbeth. Yes. And Adult, Adult Swim. Adult Swim. And that's and, there. Yeah. And if you haven't seen me voice acting, I'm a dinosaur. Zach a plays game. a green T Rex yes. dinosaur. Give it up for Adult Swim getting into me like that. Okay. They said, bitch, we want a real fact to do that. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. It says on Google it's called Macbeth with dinosaurs. There we go. There we Macbeth go. with her. I don't even mm-hmm. know the name. <laughs> there we go. listen. There we go. Get and into it. Uh, too too much. Quality. Sorry. I'm, I'm, so bad. Bad. I'm too busy. I'm too, I'm too booked. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put your mark on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. tune into that. It's, it's hilarious. Continue. Try. Ew. So you're going to write a word. I'm going to write a fucking word. Uh huh. And I'm going to give it to you in your goddamn forehead. Okay. And you're going to answer mm-hmm. yes or no questions and figure out what this word is on your forehead. Do you get that? Yes. All right, here I go. I'm going to write my word, bitch. Yeah. I'm going to start easy. Could you never like to start, you know, this is a new thing. Okay. Ooh. Don't look. <laughs> Don't Yana. look. All right. Can y'all see? Y'all can't see? Okay. I can't see shit. Okay, yeah, don't look. <laughs> Cover it. I just want my phone. I'm just going to do this. Oof. Ooh, girl, mm-hmm. I can't write. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. In the meantime. Games and games, games oh, 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 girl, this marker is tired. 
Oh. Okay. All right. That looks terrible. I'm weak. Um, but okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can the audience see it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll show them. Okay, you don't need to my look. My forehead. Okay. <laughs> Just put your hand. There you go. Right here. What is that word? Huh? Oh, can- <laughs> oh, I see. Y'all can't see uh-huh. it. I got fucked up. Y'all can't see it at all. Okay. I, mean, I know what it is now. Okay. All right. I know what it is. So, and, oh, should, oh, we don't have a timer. Somebody got a timer? Oh, we need a timer. Yeah, we're doing. Oh, should we do sense. sixty seconds on the clock? That sounds it's not good. Get it in 60 seconds really? I think sixty seconds is fair. Sixty seconds is good. That's a really like really? bitches. Yeah. 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 Sixty seconds is kind. All right. Here we go. I'm scared. Let me know when you start, Selena. <laughs> Selena said he's not gonna. He's not gonna get it. Okay. All, All right, right, so you just answer yes or no? Is that the T? Yeah, right, you're, you're asking yes or no questions. Okay, go okay. ahead, baby. Oh, got it, okay. okay. Um, when do I go? Ready now. Um, how many words? Oh, I'm sorry, is it one word? One word. Uh, you have to respond. Oh, yes. yes. No, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, is it a, pla- a place? No. Is it a person? No. Is it a thing? Yes. Is it an object? Yes. Can I hold it in my hand? Mm, no. I mean, you could, but... If you were a strong bitch. Um. (laughs) 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 Uh, Is it a a, a, a black? Yes. Sometimes. (laughs) Um, Sometimes. It can be. (laughs) But for context, sure, yes. Uh, uh, can, Can you find it in a park? Yes. Can you find it in nature? Uh, in, uh, where would you in a tree? Maybe no, a tree? no. A hiking trail? Maybe no. <laughs> Swing set? No. <laughs> Slide? No. Mulch? No. Oh, <laughs> you were not nowhere close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a game. This game is late. I don't like 60 seconds. Trey did pretty good, though. But, like, once you start to know what type of questions to ask, it gets really... It gets okay. Hard. Table. Yes. But I've never played <laughs> so it that's what I said. Though. I've always done it, like, whenever you get it is when you get it. So sometimes we go, like, two, three minutes. Oh. I like the time. Maybe a minute and a half. Nice. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe a minute. And a half. Maybe a minute. Let's yeah, do a minute yes. 30. Yeah, that's fair. I like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think a minute thirty. Is okay. A minute thirty is fair. Right. Okay, so that's a pr- so should we do kind of as a practice round then? I like that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. All right. So you go ahead right. and write yours. Table. Huh. All right. Look away now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look away now. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Are we ready? I believe so. Okay. Minute thirty on the clock. And, huh? <laughs> is it one word? Yes. Is it a person? Yes. Hmm. Beyonce? No. Is it an entertainer? No. Is it a friend? No. Family? No. Anybody I know? No. <laughs> a, of a product? No. Uh. <laughs> um. The fuck do you ask? <laughs> uh, week. Uh, I feel like we should be able to ask like a hint. We yeah, should have okay. a hint something. Uh, like a hint for each card. Okay. Like to ask for a hint. A hint. I like that, right? Um, people call Beyonce this. Oh, uh, the goat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Period, but no. But um, think about it. The, 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 the diva. Mm-hmm. Um, fantastic. Inter- uh, the, the, no. The, the singer. No. An uh, artist. No. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mogul. No. Multi personated no. cunt. Um actress. No. <laughs> it's one word. Mm-hmm. They call Beyonce this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a dancer. No. A, a sing a, I said singer. Mm-hmm. Um Rich. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mother. No. Fuck. Sister. No. Things are specific to Beyonce, because any woman can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was a really good hint too. They, I think so. Yeah, was you, Beyonce, you I was the, like, you ate that the fuck up. Thank you. Oh, why didn't I think of Queen? It's okay. I'm pissed. Cancel him, y'all. <laughs> I said <Yikes>. rich. <laughs> <laughs> Wealthy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. 
Okay. Uh, okay. We're, okay. We're off to an k- interesting start. <sighs> okay. So this is my first real one. Yes. I'm scared. Okay. Oh. So was no, that a practice one for each of us? I think. I think yours was real. Yeah, yeah. that was. Because <laughs> you had the. You, I literally just could have got that. That's okay. Okay. Because this was a little difficult. I mean, very difficult. Because you're just dealing with yes or no. Salut. I'm excited. Yeah, I think you're gonna get this one. Ready? Uh huh. I'm putting it to your forehead. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we the fuck go. Ready? Mm hmm. Three, two. Is it a person? No. A place. No. A thing. Yes. Is it an object I can hold in my hand? Yes. Is it a phone? No. Is it, um, can I use it to... <laughs> <laughs> can I put it up my ass? <laughs> not a lot I mean, if you All right. could, it would be weird. Would it hurt? Oh, yes. Ooh, How yes. M- does it have more than four sides? No. More than three sides? Yes. It depends, huh? Does it have three sides? No, it would never have three sides. <laughs> it would never have three sides. <laughs> so it has four sides? Yes. <sighs> would I find it in a park? <laughs> you can. <laughs> Could I find it in a school? Yes. Could I find it in the studio? Mm hmm. Not a table, not a mic. Is it a mic? No. <laughs> Is it a camera? No. Is it a TV? No. Is it a tripod? Okay, think more. <laughs> I'll take my hint. Every day. I use this every day. You can't even step out the house without using this. Oh, that's a good hint. Love that for me. You can't step out the house without using it. You use it every and day. it has four sides? It has four, si- four sides. And you use it? Mm-hmm. Is it skin related? No. Is it? It's tangible. Not a car key. Mm-mm. Um, <laughs> every day, food. Is it food related? No. But you use it for that. Uh, is it a utensil, a plate maybe? No. A bowl? No. Oh, Trey, you were so close. Oh, oh. What are you thinking? It was money. Damn. You are so close, I though. Think it was money, bitch. Bitch, you are so fucking close, bitch. Who's sticking that up their ass? You know, yeah. you put a lava lamp up your ass, <laughs> so. <laughs> so. I hate, like, literally you, nigga. You literally would <laughs> put something up your ass. And I could see you putting money up your ass. <laughs> I can, I can see you doing that, baby. I did. I can. I'm weak. Oh, it's that your was turn. Close. It's your okay. turn. When we did the last episode, it took me a while to realize, like mm-hmm. a while, that you meant lava lamp cap, not mm-hmm. lava lamp. Period. Merkle up the lava lamp. I was like, up the fucking butthole. Yikes. The removable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the mm-hmm. whole lamp. And not like the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's the cap that's shaped like a, yeah, uh-huh. you know, not, it looks, not yeah. like a, a circle. Yeah, exactly. yeah. it's like a little <laughs> cylinder. Mm-hmm. It Put it right up my hole. Ooh, that's oh, hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm covering my eyes. I'm covering that my eyes. That was fun. Uh, the, the cap up your ass? Yes. Oh. Well, I was young. I I didn't understand anything <laughs> about I like, stuff. I feel like she still has fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have yes. one more. Mm-hmm. We have two. What? I just Jack went again. That was the first. Jack has one more. Okay. No, I have one more. Technically, because uh, well, we this, use okay. Trey as a practice round. All right, I'm putting it right there. Oh, okay. Right. Are we ready? We are ready. Whew. All right, in five, mm-hmm. a six. Give it to me, Selena. Like, mm. is it one word? Yes. Is it a person, place, or thing? Is it a person? No. Place? No. Or thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, is it essential? No. Mm. Is, <laughs> is it sexual? Could be. Mm. A dildo? No. A, 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 du- a douche? No. Fuck. <laughs> um, a, 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 a enema? No. Um, uh, is it something I... Have I used it? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I've used it, and it can be sexual, but not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Give me a hint. It's a fruit. Oh, a banana? Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hate, oh, just the quickness. Oh, a banana? <laughs> and I'm like sexual. The only thing I can think of, dick, banana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Yum 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 yum. Ew. Okay. I sin. Wonderful work. That was good. That was good. I think I did great. You did. You did. You did. You did. Thank you. You still up in here? Okay. okay, I have one. I have all right, one. all right, big bet. All right. Oh, we up in here in pink today. Mm. This is cute. We look. Good. How do I want that to be? How do you want it? Oh, mm. oh I can't look. H and M. You ready? Oh, either H and M or, or thrift. I think H and M. Okay. Selena. Cut. Ew. Is it a person? Yes. A pl- oh, yes. <laughs> a person. Mm-hmm. Is it a celebrity? No. One word? Yes. Um, is it a type of person? Yes. Is it a family member? No. Is it a friend? No. Is it a job? Mm-hmm. Is it a position? Yes. Is it a <laughs> nine to five? They're technically always on. They're not really off. Not a celebrity. Nope. Not an entertainer. Mm-mm. Not an artist. Because why would you do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> always on. Um, does it have to do? Do people call these people to yes. help them? Um, like a mechanic or a yes. plumber? Yes. Um, an electrician? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are this bitch at the door. Damn. Uh huh. Um, do do uh, they fix things? Yeah, they have to. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. What's a hint? Yeah, uh, they they're essential. That's the hint. Yes, I already said. I already asked that. Well, I mean, that's the best I can give you without giving it to you. Because you're literally right there. <laughs> do they work at in people's homes? They can. People's cars. Those if it's already. an emergency. A, a locksmith. <laughs> oh, bitch! Trey! Nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. You had that. Trey. Trey. You literally said everything else besides a doctor. A mechanic, a locksmith, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> a fucking locksmith! She said everything else but a doctor. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Huh. Do we have one more? Is yes. this for just for Trey or for me? Hmm. Oh, thank you. Hmm. It's for you to give to Trey, no? Cause Trey oh, because it's practice round. So you have one more. Yeah. You can redeem mm-hmm. yourself, friend. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't give me that. Oh, I'm weak. Okay. Wait, you just wrote the last one. I know, but I, I went three times already. The first time we went, you we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. So I'm going to give you your redemption round. I already, I have one point right now. Oh. So if you do get this, we'd go one more time to break the tie. All right. <laughs> Got it? Y'all know the stakes? Here we go. Hmm. 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 Oh, I have it. Hmm. Mm. I have it. Hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Um... <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. I, I can't read Oh, y'all, y'all talking about my chicken scratch. I get it. <laughs> I, I literally think it's missing a letter. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Probably Damn. can't spell. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. We're missing the fuck out of a letter. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, shit. Ready, Selena? Ew. Is it a person? Yes. <laughs> um, a type of person? Yes. A career? Yes. Um, a doctor? I would not give you that again. <laughs> a mechanic? <laughs> no. <laughs> A, no, bitch. You have to go to school and get a degree for this. Uh, if you choose. Do you have to have a degree for this? If you choose. Do you have to have a no, degree in order do to not. do this? Um, a performer? A type of performer? Is it a type of performer? No. Mm. No. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm positive. What's my hint? Um, what can I be a good hint? We should stop the time. Directly. You do it all the time. <laughs> you do it. You have done it multiple times. Not a performer. But it's, you're in the right, you're walking in the right park. Not a, a writer? No. <laughs> multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, designer. Ooh, no. <laughs> One word? Yes. Ooh, you're right there. 
Not a designer. No, 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 no. But a bitch. What else times. have you done, bitch? Everything. Right. So that's vague. Um, in the entertainment business, you have done so many things. You've done this one thing so many times. So you are a I'm really mogul. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mogul? No. <laughs> You're a director. <laughs> Trey, this is a chop. It Trey, is. Trey, you just not good at this. It is. I'm not. I, I feel like, because you be right. Like, you say literally everything else but that thing. I'm not. This um, bitch said writer, designer. When have you not said director? <laughs> <laughs> Zach win? Yes. Mm, it did. Zach won this time. I'm trying to figure out what it is. The Scorpio me is trying to figure out what it is exactly that I didn't. Why I fucked up. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> not this bitch on the assessed herself. Right. Why it doesn't matter. That I fail. How can I do that better <laughs> next time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch seat said, uh, bitch. Girl, oh, fuck you. Should we bring in the, the, the great the, work? <laughs> Bring in the fucking blazers. Bring in the goddamn blazers, Jesus. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back. back. Back to tired ass therapy. Yes. We're here to help you if your life is in shambles. But don't forget, it's not free. But do we still accept EBT? No. I won't fool We cut that. We cut that out. But I would I would really Bitches like were faking it. That's true. Mm. Had a bitch come in here last week saying she was on EBT. Wasn't. And bitch was rich as shit, actually. Rich as shit. And we got stuck with the bill. I remember that. Yep. I Sorry. That. She cut it out for all Fuck. you. Fuck. I was really enjoying my food stamps. I'm sure you were. Fuck. I mean, not paying for groceries was sickening. Well. <laughs> Who do we have today? Okay, 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 okay. By the way, we the, the game we just played, we are aware that <laughs> that was whack. It was actually tired. <laughs> um <laughs> I tired. hope the edit came out better than what it looked in person because we struggled with that game. <laughs> Very struggle like bus. We only got one point out of three rounds. Yeah. What a shame. Yeah. Here we are. I think <laughs> we can do so much better. But here we are. But we've here already we, are. we already laid the bed. We're gonna lay in it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Sorry if y'all were bored. Yeah, we were too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what do we have today? My bitch Yan Yan said, "Do opposites really attract, or am I being picky, or is it okay to have standards?" Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Do opposites really? Let's start with that part. Mm-hmm. Do opposites tray? Talk to therapy. Does opposite really attract, in your opinion? No. Oh. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I'm kidding. Um, I think so. Mm. I think that opposites do attract. Uh, what do you think? I think I never believed in that. Mm. And I think it's because I feel like you and your partner should have opposing thoughts. Mm. Yes. That is what makes the relationship fun. You and your partner should not always agree on the same shit. Y'all should not be the same person. I don't mm. like relationships that be like, oh my God, me and my boyfriend are so the same. Like, we're right. so the same. Okay, girl. Bitch. <laughs> You're dating yourself then. That's it's boring. What it's giving you. How are you going to learn from your, th- from this nothing. situation? Exactly. For me, for instance, my relationship, I we are very similar in, in when it comes to funny things mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, jokes. But we differ a lot in life decisions, um, how we view life, how we think people should be treated. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, patience, temperament. We differ in all those things. Mm -hmm. But that's what makes the relationship whole because we find common, we have commonality in jokes and shit like that. But baby, we're not the same. Mm -hmm. And I think, (laughs) I think I wouldn't want somebody completely opposite of me because then what do we what do we have here Mm -hmm. because i'm not about to force myself you know on you i'm not going to force me and you liking each other because i feel like when you say opposites attract that means what i'm over here what i view over here and what you view over here we will never see each other's that's not all what i mean by opposites attract. i'm not sure what other people do that's what i thought i Mm -hmm. always thought opposites when people say opposites attract i feel like is that people that say like over here and over here Mm -hmm. we will never come together to understand each other because we will never see the same point of view Mm -hmm. and for me personally I just always wanted similarity and commonality in my relationships even in my friendships I think that opposites maybe if you mean opposites attract in a sense of um, you can learn something from somebody Mm -hmm. then sure but I also like I said I feel like there's I would rather have a commonality with somebody first Mm -hmm. to then, you know, learn from the things that we differ from. I don't think that we need to be so completely opposite Mm -hmm. to where it doesn't, you know, we to be in a relationship. Yeah. But I could be wrong. So educate me. Well, no, (laughs) I'm weak. Ew. One, (laughs) two. um, Yeah. But opposites attract. I mean, basically what you just said, Mm -hmm. as far as you and Brian, for example, Mm -hmm. um, you do share that commonality at the root. Um, but when you get up, you go further up the mm-hmm. tree, you realize, mm-hmm. oh, this branch is over here and this branch is over here. Mm-hmm. But you always find that common ground. Absolutely. That you always have that commonality Absolutely. at the root. You always, you know, um, there are times where I'm going to have to mm-hmm. make sacrifices. Mm-hmm. There's times when I'm going to have to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Starts with a C. We're not going to do this again. Right, Dad. We're going. <laughs> we do it every episode. We're not going. Compromise. Com- we're going to have to compromise here. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to have to compromise here. Brian's going to have to compromise here. But you can do that because you have that commonality. Come on now. Um, yeah, when I say opposites attract, that's what I mean. Like there, there are certain things that you like and certain things that he doesn't like um, or certain things that he likes mm-hmm. that you guys can bring together mm-hmm. or in any relationship that mm-hmm. you can bring you know, to any relationship and teach someone something. Mm-hmm someone something new Mm. um i think about all of my uh successful relationships be it romantic or platonic um that common ground is always important but i haven't learned anything in relationships with people that i was that i was similar to that i was Mm. too much alike with I think about even just going down although it wasn't romantic going back to Kathy I'm gonna bring everything back to Kathy because it's the best relationship anyone could ask for Mm -hmm. Um, we were so the same when it came to our spiritual grounding but also so different she's from the island of Puerto Rico Mm -hmm. (laughs) her ancestors are connected with with um, she's got that African ancestry with the Catholic ancestry Mm -hmm. she she has a different understanding of spirituality Mm -hmm. opposed to me a black man a, a a descendant of slaves mm-hmm. whose spirituality spirituality was stripped from me. Mm-hmm. We came into the into our relationship with two different ideas of it, mm-hmm. but we realized our common ground as we um, found commonalities in our in the opposites and mm-hmm. the differences mm-hmm. you know between the two of us. Um, all of my successful relationships. Their thing, their relationships where I can teach them, you know, X, Y, Z, and they can teach me X, Y, Z. And we come together. That's 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 how we grow, Absolutely. you know, together. So that's my definition okay. of opposites. I do not mean at all like, oh, yeah, this is a Trump supporter <laughs> and this is a Biden supporter. That's what I thought. Maybe we cannot be friends, that's actually. What I thought. That's I not like, at all what I meant. That. God but, no. But I see. But so basically, we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah. But just different definitions of it. And yeah. I, now I didn't. I then can agree that opposites do definitely attract. Mm. Now the other side of the question was: Am I being too picky? Ooh. And is it still okay to have standards? Mm. And bitch, I say yes. Absolutely. And I will <laughs> cuss you out if you think you're not supposed to. For and actually, second. if you think that you're too picky. Mm-hmm. I don't think being picky is a problem, Mm-mm. at least for me. I think that if you're going to spend time 
your lifetime. <laughs> your, <laughs> like the, exact. Like the, the life that you have on this earth, the time you have alive mm-hmm. with any human, you should be picky about it. You should it. probably be fucking picky. Because bitches do not bitches. Mm-hmm. Bitches will suck that energy dry. Mm-hmm. And if you're not with the right group of people or the right friends, the right relationship, bitch, you will feel it. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be like, why didn't I pick wisely? Why did I have standards? You should have standards in your relationships and mm-hmm. your friendships and your business ships. Mm-hmm. You should have standards. Absolutely. Always. And I think we've been taught, especially in my queer community, mm-hmm. we've been taught that you shouldn't have that many standards because mm-hmm. you There's should only be- so many to choose from. Ooh. Only so much. Ooh. Ooh. There's only so much to choose from, so you might not want to... And I'm really speaking for my plus-size queer folk Mm -hmm. that were always told that, oh, you're only good for for sex or just for a good time Mm -hmm. because, you know, nobody else want to really be with a big person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the fat phobia and the queer community, which I'm not ready to talk about for real, um, (laughs) you know, for me, I had to choose to be picky Mm -hmm. because you had me fucked up. Actually, at the door. Yeah, I mean, fucked up at the door. The you, won't, you won't tell me because I'm big. I'm just going to take anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm too sickening. Mm-hmm. And as we, like I learned in the earlier season of the season, I learned, you know, my GOC 3000 is caught. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Period. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Bitch, you should be blessed when you get this GOC. Girl, <laughs> please. So, yeah, bitch, I'm going to be picky. <laughs> I'm gonna be picky. I'm gonna be picky where this Gawk 3000 is going. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I know, yeah. and also, but fuck the sex. I know my love, my compassion, my patience. It's everything. Mm. And it's a treat to to be in my life. And it's not coming from a cocky place, it's coming from a place of, of, of awareness of who I am as a person mm. and what I bring to the table. Mm. And that's just what I feel. I, I'm not going to sit up here and settle for less. Mm. Bitch, you better love me better than I can love myself sometimes, bitch. Treat you me got like to. like I treat me. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to uh-huh. my bitch, Chloe. <laughs> treat me like treat I treat me, me. Treat me, nigga. Treat me. Yes. Shout out to Chloe Because you know Bailey I do show. it right. Because you know I do it the fuck right. Actually, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah. Dead ass. What about you, baby? That is exactly how I feel um, and I'm just gonna everything just circles back to Kathy as it should yes. ha um, I just <laughs> I just learned so much about what I deserve from her because she was the bitch in my ear like girl you are that ah, quit acting like you not why are you oh she be pissed at me uh-huh. when I was just settling for any old mother, a motherfucker sedating any old talk nigga. about it oh she be pissed She'd be pissed. Be like, upset. wow, girl, you really don't. Oh, well, she's to tell your <laughs> ass off, too. Yeah, you really don't know what the fuck you deserve up in here, huh? Um, but because of that, because she gave me that, um, I now navigate. I just know who I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know who I am. In this in this moment, you know, you we're also, constantly changing. You also realize how much you bring to the table, too. Mm-hmm. Even and like we were just talking about earlier, mm-hmm. how you was paying for people and taking people out, and mm-hmm. everybody just could just come with train and know they could not spend any money mm-hmm. at that time in your life. You woke the fuck up and said, "Oh no, mm-hmm. I bring too much to the table, honey." Yeah, you gotta feed me too. Playing in my fucking face. The fuck? Yeah. The fuck? You gotta be picky in your and your friendships also, because mm-hmm. like I said, people will suck your ass dry. Yes, they will. And then turn their back when you need them. Yes, they will. And you can't even fault them. You can't. Ultimately, that's what I really learned. You can't even fault them. You can't even be fucking mad. People, first of all, I'm psychic, so there's that. I know how a relationship <laughs> is going to end before it starts. Come on. Um, so, like, I, when I go into something, I know better. If it <laughs> ends, it, you know, badly. Um, I'm a master of detecting cycles. So, if this person is doing XYZ, I can relate that to who to everyone else in the past and the future who is doing XYZ. Um, I already know. Like I already know how exactly this is going to end. People will tell you up front exactly who they are. They will show you exactly who they are. They will show you their and goals. And you shouldn't will, ignore it. They will show you exactly where they're going. <laughs> the shake, bitch. Come on, They bitch. will. They'll show you exactly who Period. they are and what they want. Mm-hmm. It's up to you to listen. Absolutely. And I listen. Absolutely. I listen. Yeah, I'm way too cunt. 
<laughs> I'm way too kind. Another one on the t shirt. I'm way yeah, too I'm kind. Yeah, I'm way too kind. And not, I love yeah, myself comma, way, I'm way too, too much. Kind. Listen, <laughs> you are not, girl, they no such thing as being too fucking picky. You will you know when someone steps into your life and and, and caters to you the same way that you cater to yourself. Mm-hmm. That can someone that can balance you out. Mm-hmm. Oh, someone that can give you everything that you give yourself. Mm-hmm. You'll know. Mm-hmm. You'll know. You'll know then like ah. Uh, um, I think about my relationship, my dating life. People always like, ooh, people always ask me, are you dating? And I'm ne- I never am. You in a relationship? I never am. Um, I don't know, people be like, mm, that's a picky nigga. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, there are many levels you've got to meet. Yes. To get to up. cross up in this motherfucking kingdom. Yeah. I'm very rare. I know that. I know that. And I've had to come to terms with being a hopeless romantic myself. Mm. Um, not sure if you are, whoever asked that question. I mm-hmm. feel like you are. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to come to terms with the fact that oh. time. Hopeless romantics. Listen, yeah, it's ghetto here. Mm. Um, <laughs> time is only, it's just only what I make it to yeah. be. And in the meantime, the stronger that I get, the more energy I put into myself. Um, the more I do to please myself, the more the universe is looking into that, and looking at that, and saying, "Hmm, okay, let's cross that off the list. Mm-hmm. Bring in the, <laughs> mm-hmm. bring in this next level. Oh, mm-hmm. trace elevated. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Bring in the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, the rarer you get, the harder it is to find other people, you know, to navigate mm-hmm. to other people that are as rare. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're sitting around, you know, on your ass, and you are not on your ass, but you're thinking, oh, maybe I'm being too picky. I've been single for a long time, and you know, I, I be getting these, I be getting these choices and yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, you know, I'm not taking out of it. Maybe I need to. Nope. Nope. But you better not sit up. I just do this. Mm-mm. No. I see so clearly exactly what is for me, what is coming. And on, in the meantime, and I've experienced it with Kathy. I've experienced I'm, I'm like, damn, I've done something right. <laughs> yeah. I've experienced it. Once you experience it, that. Crack the code. That motherfucking Doc 3000. Although, like me and Kathy wasn't sexual, but yeah. that Doc 3000. Yeah, yeah. yeah Once no. you experience that kind of head. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm. <laughs> no, dead ass. Dead ass. I don't need what you. What the fuck I look like going back to, to that Doc 10? <laughs> Fuck that got my face. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah. So take away. I hope that you <laughs> fucking understand that opposites do attract. Now mm-hmm. I learned that today. Mm-hmm. And also, a week. And also, bitch, you're not wrong for being picky. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong for having standards for what you expect for yourself and how you want to be fucking treated. Mm-hmm. And that goes for your relationships, your friendships, your workships, your student life, anything that fuck you. How do you want to be treated and the standards that you want to be treated by? Mm-hmm. Period. It's just that on that. Bitch. That is just that on that. No, hopefully you're not self-sabotaging. That's a conversation for another day. That, that, that. You didn't pay for that session. <laughs> now that's a session. We need to talk about that's that. That's a one. session. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Madison now, is at the door. Cash your credit. Out now. If you don't, if you walk past this bitch, she <laughs> will catch you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Waiting. So, bitch, where's my fucking have, money? They have the blick blicks. Yep. Mm, fuck it up. Wait, you know what I do have though? What, do you have a weapon for real? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't have a taser. I'm gonna shut this shit down, bitch. Let, right, it out, Selena. Get up. Let it up, Selena. Let it up, Selena. I know that's right. But dazzled pepper spray. Bitch. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Bitch. Bitch. Well. It's so hard to do this all the stick in your slit, cuz. This you're not. looks like a piece of candy compared to that. I'm weak, <laughs> but I'm sure it doesn't feel like a piece of candy. Have you ever gotten pepper spray in your eye? Nope, don't wanna. Mm-mm. Mm. I'm stressed. Oh, what is, what is I'm so, so stressed because they just pulled out the blicks, bitch. <laughs> Do you have weapons? We said, yeah. That bitch said, hold the fuck up, Cheech. The women bitch. in the room have the weapons in the oh room. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> they just put but they put up the blitz. <laughs> oh, my God. We weren't lying. No. Cash her fucking credit. Fucking credit, bitch. Let's take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this episode, <laughs> I don't, I'm going to, my takeaway, 
I'm gonna make it really quick and cute and simple because we did so much of the mental health and mm-hmm. we talked for the Gigiana for over an hour <laughs> and I said a lot <laughs> what I had to say mm-hmm. but I'm gonna piggyback off of it and my personal experience was you know hating the image that I had and not believing that people want to see that image I'm just gonna tell you at home your story is valid to be told mm-hmm. And that's all I really have to say <laughs> on some real shit. Cause bitch, your story is valid to be told. Don't think that you're nobody's gonna give a fuck what you have to say. Don't think that people, you know, you're not qualified to tell that story, or you don't have the equipment, or you're not equipped. You don't think you look good enough, or X, Y, and Z to tell that story. But baby, your story is valid to be told. Mm-hmm. It is. It needs to be heard. We need it. There's nobody like you out there. And don't think that because you don't look like X, Y, and Z. And I feel like I said this before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I feel like I've said this in a variation of don't. I did. Don't compare <clears throat> yourself to when I remember I said don't compare yourself to your faves and say, well, I can't do that because X, Y, and Z didn't do it like that. Mm-hmm. You you won't get anywhere. Mm-hmm. Tell your story. There's a very specific way that you can tell this. Yep. That your fave cannot. There's certain experiences that you have that you, they you don't know, have that they don't have. So if someone's looking for that perspective, me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell it, please, and don't give me that whole spill of I don't have, I don't have any followers, bitch. Get mm-hmm. up and what my bitch Kim made the whole world to say. Get up and work. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> but dead ass, get up oh, and work. Wait, actually, no, get up and work and spread your story, bitch. Until bitches pay attention because they will, because mm-hmm. they fucking will. Trey, how you gonna take me away? Uh, how do I eat this? Because I want to eat this up real quick too. I'm a baby. Um, ew. Oh, um. To piggyback off of you, mm-hmm. story needs to be told. As cliche as it sounds, you are not alone. There are so many, so many, so many. And that's the power of social media. Mm-hmm. Um, the power of digital media, the connection. We are connected mm-hmm. to people around the world mm-hmm. at all times. Mm-hmm. Um, there is someone that is experiencing exactly what you're experiencing. Mm-hmm. And if they aren't, there's someone that wants to hear it. Hello. That wants to experience it. That wants to feel you. Um People often forget, we often forget, that healing comes in community. We think that we have to go off on our own, you know, spiritual journeys and and um, not even just necessarily spir- spiritual journeys, but if you're going through whatever and trying to heal through it, that we have to go off and close ourselves off. We It comes from within. We have to do it ourselves. And while a part of that is true, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we don't grow by ourselves. We grow by navigating toward people who feed into us, yeah. whether it be good or bad. Yeah. But we grow in community mm. and finding our, our, our habitats. Yeah. We grow in that. There, you're not going to find your habitat by holding on to your story. You're not going to find your habitat by hold, holding on to, to what's true to you. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. And that's that on that. That's all I have for you. That's all you have for me. That's all I have. We eating you know, it real quick because we got into it. In that Bitch, game. no, we ate this the fuck up actually. Yeah. The game and the gags maybe not be much of a gag. However, <laughs> the game was good. Okay, just I'm just gonna get good at that game. I'm just gonna get good. Okay, bitch. Rematch. I don't wanna. So you know how to play the game. It's actually fun. I just I need mean, to. I just don't oh, know what I was doing. Said, I just you guys think, aren't that good at the game. <laughs> I play it all the time and I have a ball with right, my you, friends. You, you said you <laughs> had a great time. Oh, it's Selena. Is yeah. I shot. I concur. <laughs> Mm-mm. So I'm I have, think I don't like asking yes or no questions. Yeah. I think that's why I'm actually bad at it. Because like that, I'm horrible at small talk. Yeah, I'm a storyteller. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to ask no stupid, you know, boring <laughs> shit. <laughs> no offense okay. to people. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god. Well, fuck me. Well, fuck me. No offense. No offense. I'm sure it's a great game. I, I hate sure a bitch it like is. This. But I think that's why I didn't like it so much. And you too, you're a storyteller yes. as well. Yes. Descriptive bitch. I tried, but I, I you know. <laughs> Listen, Listen I, don't think we did. We, I don't think we introduced ourselves. I'm Zach. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think we did that. I think we got right into our traumas. Yeah. I'm Zach. <laughs> I'm Trey. And this has been the Tired Ass Podcast. And we love you bitches for watching. And we will catch you bitches in the next one. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Just got right into the That's shit. So good. That's oh, so good. That's so good. Five. Can we hear me? I can hear you very all well. Right, all right, Gooch. Five. But Gooch. Gee. Yeah. Oh. Gooch. <laughs> I say goose. Oh. <laughs>
tea. Oof. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought about gooch. <laughs> I don't know why I'm obsessed with my titties with this show. I can't You're stop. I'm always rubbing my titties, Selena. As you should be, though. Mm. Oh, because they're big. Exactly. Oh, the- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are as cliche as it sounds. You are. <laughs> Please stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please cut it out. I'm not. <laughs> Ew. I thought I was looking kind. You look ugly. I thought I was helping you. <laughs> you. It was. This didn't do it for I you. Can, no. <laughs> I hate us so fucking much. Oh, we're trifling. It's huh. <laughs> Let's, try Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's take it back. Um, you motherfucking <laughs> whore! You put your goddamn hands on me. <laughs>